was that? Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button, and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for you. Right. Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. So we're going through doing the preventative maintenance, checking the capacitors, checking the fan samples, and working things out. Set the water in the shade. And pull the disconnect on these two units. One of these, the plate is out. One of these, I'm going to set that straight. See if it's one of these. Yep, it is. It's this one here. Pull the disconnects. And I'll reset that plate in there. We want that cover. Okay. So disconnects pulled. And we can pull our covers. Test our capacitors. Got kind of a nice breezy today. It's the last cool day. It's uh, April 27th. I'm gonna set this lid where it's not gonna. It's breezy and windy. You gotta angle it pretty good so that it doesn't blow over and blow into me. Oh, got an old. So, Got a compressor that's been replaced before. We'll have to research the model number. It is a Bristol H23B28QABCA. So I've looked this one up before. I'm going to discharge the capacitor. The capacitor holds a charge in it even after the power is disconnected. It looks like it might have a 45 on it. Probably not correct. So let's uh, go to my list here that I've been compiling. Oh gosh, my hat. H2, there it is, the B. It's uh, 35. H3, H2, 3B, 2, 8. ABC. Yeah, 35.5. Okay, so we'll write that inside. This way we don't have to next time look this up again. Have it mapped out for the next guy, which very well may be me. And I do believe this one has the wrong compressor or wrong capacitor on it. So we're going to test that. Okay, discharge the capacitor. We're going to disconnect the start wire. At least someone positioned this in a nice spot. And it looks like they're using the fan, the fan motor with the jumper wire. All right. So we've got a, a jumper wire. Gosh, we're going to leave that common connected. A little tricky time logistics here. Tricky time. Okay. Tricky, tricky. Stubborn tricky. Okay. Yes. Didn't want to cooperate. Okay. There we go. That one there. Okay. And I think that's like a 45 on there. Um, that's my guess. So we're testing the five. But what we want is a 35 and then a five for the fan. So here's the five for the fan. 4.28, it's weak, so we'll be changing that. And common and Herm, 39.77. So it's out of our range for what we want. We want a 35 on this one. So we'll be changing that and we'll be changing the fan. So I need a 35 and a five.
So it's a good thing doing the research. I actually didn't have uh, internet service before and, and so wasn't really able to research these uh, this way, you know. Um, doing it right here is definitely making this a lot better in that I can actually check what's supposed to be there. So we're gonna go Titan Pro all the way on this. We've got a five. Jumper wire. That seems a little weak. And that seems really tight. <laughs> Hopefully the Titan Pro is gonna fit. Yes it is. A little weak there, so we'll tighten that connection up a little. go and we should test our hard start kit as well okay our fan cap is good let me test that hard start kit real quick so I did just have one bad on the last unit that I tested one of my units just turned on over there that'd be interesting to check up okay here's hard start kit Getting a read. 47.1 is good. Okay. Pull off and go check it out. Turn it That's a nice small screen today. Yeah. This one right here. Nice and cold. Nice and quiet. Alright. That one had tested good. To go through afterwards and we'll take all the trash out and just you know, pile it up and just kind of jam through them all for now and then come back and we'll get it all out. Okay. Now we're going to change this. Whatever this is, if it's a 40 it's still good. I can use it somewhere else. jumper for the common from the fan it's a 40 40 slash 5 so it's actually good it's just the wrong size for this capacitor or for this compressor okay so now we're gonna plug in all our commons probably gonna need to adjust that strap uh, or loosen the strap it's really tight in there oh gosh logistics Whale. This one doesn't want to cooperate with me no matter where I set it. There we go. Hopefully that's a good view for you guys. sometimes huh. just a particular angle the sun's right in my face there we go okay jumper wire from the fan tilt my hat in a certain way to hard start kit. Start wire. Okay. Oh, that was 
is actually the blue fan motor. And now we got the two hard start kit leads, one to each side. And that's it. Can be tricky sometimes. All right, we're ready to test it and we're ready for the next unit. Uh, now we've set this straight, we've marked it inside as a 35. It's a good feeling. All right, on to the next one. We've already got it disconnected here. Goodman should take a 40 slash 5, which I'm getting low on. Hopefully, I have enough to finish off this roof for whatever is needed. No hard start kit. Um, you'll probably notice a few things is that. I noticed the pattern I'm noticing, which is all my ones that don't have a hard start kit, the capacitors are bad, and the ones with Sepco's capacitors, often the capacitors out of phase. We can test it from there. I'm going to go ahead and just disconnect the common because it's a 40 slash 5, but I bet you it's no good. If the pattern is holding true. Uh, for so far what I'm seeing on my units. Okay, let's take a look. Should be a 40. 38.15, it's good. And call in the fan. Should be five. 4.94. It's actually good. Hey, I did not need to disconnect this. And I spoke too soon about the pattern. Well, I'm happy to be wrong on this one. Still been my main experience, so I'll be adding a hard start kit for this one. Yeah, I'm really glad that the uh, really glad that the tested okay because I'm getting low on those 40s. So here's our new hard start kit. One lead to Herm and one lead to Common. And we're in. Okay. And this one. There it is. Okay, now we're ready to plug them in and test them. So, plugging in the disconnects here. One and two. Okay, put my covers on. And okay, then we'll test these out. Covers went on nice and easy. Here goes testing it out. I find it holds a little easier with my flathead, and I just kind of hold the insulated portion and push the contact. Out. 
Another one that we switched it to the 35, which was the correct size for this capacitor. Here it goes. Ooh. It looks like someone has switched the contactor on this one to a single pole contactor. Single pole contactor is often used on a compressor that has an internal crankcase heater. Uh, you'll usually see two wires coming down from the bottom of the contactor for the compressor if it has an external crankcase heater. It's possible this one has an internal crankcase heater, but I don't think so. Uh, but I could be wrong there. I think that's really not the correct contactor. It will work, but it's just, you know, just commenting on that. All right, let's test it out here. Yeah. Going the right way. The line is getting nice and full, and we're all set there. Okay. And this should really have the cap on the deal, but someone's used the wrong kind of the wrong shaped compressor leads. I don't have to worry about that again. I've got to focus on what's what's best and going to be most effective for me but it's a lot safer to have that compressor cover on there because the terminals could actually blow out but it's a different story our capacitor tested good here so i could save that 40 slash 5 uh for something else so it just was the wrong size for this particular compressor tricky one here. Yeah, this things are sharp. I didn't quite draw blood, but it just <laughs> good thing like guitar playing. It's actually the wrong hole to run here. <laughs> I've built up some calluses. I didn't quite draw blood. Didn't donate blood today. The day is young. Alright. It's done deal. Nice beautiful. Palm Springs day, two, four, six. Uh, just a little less than halfway. Got about eight units. Good ten. A quick search on my YouTube channel of whatever your maintenance needs are. You should find a bunch of different material that'll be helpful to your maintenance needs.